Here we are in part three, the final part of this cobblestone illustration video. Parts one and two were devoted to the boring stuff. This is where I modeled the houses and textured the houses, but now I get to actually compose my illustration. So as you can see on the left, I've got my sketch and it's pretty basic. There's a few buildings, an indication of the sun direction, and that's about it. Well, now I'm gonna keep this in mind and build my actual city street inside of SketchUp. And since I've already got all these houses created, it's going to be more like play than like work. So all I've got in my scene right now is the road. And I put in a little elevation change just to keep it interesting. This is another one of those things that would be really hard to do if you're doing manual perspective drawing. And then on the left, I've got my components window open. And here's where all of my houses are kept. So I can just drag them out into the scene. And if you've ever worked in a video game studio, this is a lot like building a level inside a game engine. You're taking assets that you've already built ahead of time and then just sort of positioning them. And I find this to be the really fun part. Especially with shadows turned on, you can really quickly get a sense of what this street is like. And then you just use the move and rotation tools to put them into a nice position, keeping in mind where the road is and what the shadows are doing. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording right now, place a few more houses, and I'll show you what I've come up with. All right, here we go. The final city street. I've placed a few more buildings in, as you can see, and I really had fun with making an interesting layout. But because I wasn't encumbered with traditional perspective drawing, it gave me a nice opportunity to just sort of play around and see what I came up with. And then you can position the camera. You can even change the camera field of view to give it sort of a zoomed in look or more of a wide angle camera look. And then finally, to really work on that composition, I'm going to turn on shadows and then adjust them to get an interesting composition. And from my initial sketch, I had the idea of sort of long shadows casting from the left side of the illustration towards the right, leaving the tops of the buildings illuminated. Sort of like that. And when I'm happy, I can pose the final shot, exporting it into Photoshop. And then I'll take this and paint a little while and show you what I end up with. So you can see that it's by no means a finished illustration. All SketchUp gave me was a great starting point. It established the perspective firmly in space, and it gave me some nice light direction to go from. At this point, I then proceed to paint like normal, using it as sort of a elaborate underdrawing. But all the while, I know that those buildings that I built, I've got in my toolbox now, and I can use them in upcoming illustrations. So using SketchUp in this way can be a great way to generate complicated backgrounds. So I hope you learned something from this series, and I hope you weren't too turned off by the fact that I skipped some of the button pressing and specific keyboard shortcuts. I really wanted it to be more of an example of how the process can work and why you'd use SketchUp at all for this purpose. So thanks for watching, and if you like the videos, make sure to tell your friends about it. I need your help to spread the word about the site.